Hello, my Gucci Spectre Sky Rumptious Delicious Gemini. How's everyone doing, baby? Let me know in the comments below. Why are you so sparkly, baby? All right, baby, let's get into the reading. This is your Love Tarot reading for you and your person. This is still your June 2023 energy going into July. And we are going to see what is happening between you and your baby. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Let's take a look at Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their person. Then, mm, what a douche flute. I can already smell it. I smell it on them. It's eau de douche flute. Eau de flute. We know it. You know that cologne. Perfume, you know, anything in between. You know that scent signature for a lot of people. All right. Reminds me of my ex -boy. No, I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> Not kidding. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do this, Gemini. Let's see what happened in the past to make this situation. So, this is someone who feels, um, someone who feels like if they were to reach out to you today, you would definitely reject them, and they feel like they brought it on themselves. Is there a self development? You know, an epiphany happening here? Probably not. <laughs> They're feeling sorry for themselves. They feel rejected by you mm, preemptively. I think they would like to fix something here. They feel like they f this up like all the way with their bad behavior, lack of responsibility. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't um, kiss your feet. They didn't oil up your body when you needed them to. You know, they didn't feed you figs from the tree when they got the opportunity and now they regret it, you know? Should have bought you flowers kind of a vibe. Now you're buying yourself flowers, Gemini, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, eight of wands. I think this person tried to reach out to you, but you blocked them. And it's because they didn't appreciate you and they had the chance and they know it. It's like they had this beautiful gem of, they have this beautiful gem of a gem in their hand. You know, this beautiful rare bird, this dove, and they just didn't appreciate it. They let it fly away, but Bill. If you haven't blocked them, they're, um, you know, this is that douche flute who's like thinking what they're going to tell you, but they never send the message because they think you're not going to respond. Maybe they're assuming they're blocked. They think you've moved on, the chariot. They think you've moved on from them. We do assume some kind of a rift or separation, but this was, you know, <clears throat> it could have been somebody, you know, if it was an established connection between the two of you, it could have been somebody who was choosing like a party lifestyle over you, like spending time with their friends, other people, like everybody but you, and they just didn't appreciate you. They would compliment other people. They would like suck up to other people, not because they were like carrying on with other people necessarily, but they just weren't, you know, they just didn't appreciate what they had. Gemini, before we get into these psychological issues of your, of your individual, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot, my baby. I love you. I appreciate you. I see you, boo -boo. Give mommy a kiss. Mm, I love you so much, Gemini. You know you're my lucky stars. Um, boo -boo, just a quick reminder. Also, my prices will be going up, boo -boo. They've been the same for two years. It is time for an energy upgrade for the spirits on the channel and also for the spirit of inflation, the scariest ghost <laughs> in this house. So if you want to still grab a reading based on the old pricing or you want to buy a bundle, all the information, uh, sorry, all the information on how to get in touch with me and my old pricing is in the description box below. Uh, and if you want to check out my bundle offers, they're in my community tab. So check it out, baby. All right, but Bill, nom, 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 nom. back to reality. Yeah, your person, you know, Queen of Wands, they're just like, they thought, I'll be honest with you, Gemini, and this is like such an insult because this person is beneath you, but when mm, they were with you, dating you, you know, whether it's like a bimbo, himbo, anyone in between, you went on Tinder on a Tuesday, something new, something established, marriage, this person thought that they were out of your league. They thought that you were beneath them. They thought that they were doing you a favor. This is uh, a delusional character. They need to help. Yeah, they were choosing Nine of Cups, parties, the lifestyle, themselves over you, their own pleasures. You know, this is that husband, wife, anyone in between who takes a vacation by themselves. And I know some people do that because it's like they have a deal where they like, maybe they don't like the same thing. Like one person goes to the sea, one to the mountains and all this. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about like a selfish piece of ish who, you know, when the wife is pregnant, 
books a trip for themselves to go freaking skiing or play, playing tennis somewhere. You know what I mean? Like someone who out of selfishness did stuff like that. They um, pleased themselves as much as they could. If it was a less established connection, it was just someone who uh, at the time that they were dating you, getting to know you, was just not prioritizing the connection because they weren't recognizing your higher vibrational scrumptiousness. And Gemini, you're in your power here, the Knight of Swords. This is your energy. You were like, really? Oh, really, douche flute. So, you know, I think you told them a few things about themselves, it was especially if it was like a bimbo himbo. I think you uh, played the game as well. I think you were keeping your options open. I think you could have ghosted that person eventually. I think you ghosted them or, you know, they were trying to play games with you and you just didn't chase it up. You did not chase this up because you were like, yeah, I don't like this whole, you know, setup. You you had this feeling this person was unstable. They were not necessarily looking for a commitment, even though they were spin, smitten by you. They were like all about you. You know, the passion is burning still inside this person for you. But you were like, yeah, this is not for me. This person is unstable. I think you said something to them. They didn't appreciate it. They said something back to you, you know. Tit for tat. Eight of Pentacles, interesting. This card is stalking me today for people's intentions. Isn't that fascinating? They want to work it out. They want to work on it. They want to work something out. They want to work out a deal. But they're not ready to, they're not ready to kind of like be the bigger person. So they're going to be spying on you. They're going to try and gauge, you know, what are you going to say if they reach out? It's like a coward's way in. It's not a coward's way out. It's a coward's way in. They're going to try and like weasel their way back in. Are they bringing you flowers and gifts and all this? No, because it's a douche flute. I don't like this. I don't like this. Did they now realize that you were the one doing them a favor, by the way? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. They wish they could kiss your feet right now. Maybe they're into feet. I don't know. Anyway, the Seven of Pentacles, the person is going to be thinking about doing this for a long time, baby. Get ready. Get ready, Gemini. Do you, how, how long are you going to wait for this person? What is Their intention is to do it. I don't even know if they're going to do it. They're just going to be thinking about it. Are they going to do it? Are you going to reach out? Yeah, they're going to reach out, but it's going to take forever. Taurus energy, the higher font. I don't even know how long, but I wouldn't... <laughs> And maybe still this, like, you know what, maybe in July. I'm recording this on the last day of June. So it could be, it could be in July. <sighs> Depending on how long the Swifter separation has been, like, you know, your timeline, how it's translating to your timeline. Because everyone's timeline will be different. Always remember, these are general readings. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm just a random woman on the internet, but boo. But going to take a, it's going to feel like forever and it may be too late by the time they reach out, but reach out they will. What is the advice for Gemini? Seven of Wands. <laughs> I mean, you got so many options. This is a thing. You're doing this person a favor and there's other people who want to kiss your feet. So just remember that. Remember your, va your value on the douche mark. I mean, not that you're a douche, but like, you know, the douches, you know, they wish they want to worship you. The peasants, you know, let the peasants worship. So you have other options, but Bill. So it's just a reminder from your spirit. There's other options out there. You know, what do you really want, Gemini? What do you really want? Oh, this person's so mad at themselves now. They're like, they're cringing at their own behavior. They're very cringe. Every douche loot is cringe. Delete from database, Gemini. I don't know. It's up to you. It's all about free will on this channel, but it's just like you have a large database. You know what I'm saying? All right, but this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button because it really helps your mommy out. And it tells my AI overlords at YouTube, mm, don't cancel me, my overlords. I love you. Uh, it tells them that you're engaged, you like my content, and that I've been a good girl. <laughs> Thank you mm, for watching as always, my baby. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect. Abracadabra. Mm.